So BMI body mass index, it's a simple measure of our height and our weight. Do you guys know your BMIs? I have no clue. I probably you. should, but I don't. I do. <laughs> you should. I should too. So it's a great way to screen the general population, but you can imagine a football player, one of the Broncos, has a lot of muscle mass. So his weight to height ratio might suggest an elevated BMI, but he's not actually fat or unhealthy. So we also have a, a classification of people called TOFI, thin outside, fat inside. So you look thin, That's me. your BMI measures me. normal, but you have visceral fat around your organs right. that confers risk. And metabolically, you have a target sign on you to have a high risk outcome. And so a lot of factors go into how much visceral fat you have. So of course, aging is one of the biggest factors um, of having excess calories. So if you have an increased BMI, it does correlate with extra visceral fat, but it's not all genetics and it's not all aging. A lot of it is within our control. So how sedentary we are, how much sleep we're getting, how much stress we have. Lifestyle thing. Which is great because it means it's all modifiable. But a lot of us don't stop to think about our visceral fat. We just are so fixated either on subcutaneous fat or that number of the BMI that that's what we use to predict our risk.